So in the series of learning C programming from this video, I am going to start a new concept in C that is file handling in C. We will see everything about file handling in C. First of all, we'll discuss discuss why we need file handling. Because see, whenever you go for a new concept or if you are a teacher and you are going to teach a new concept, then first thing is, you know, you should find out the answer of why we need this concept, right? And what is this exactly? First of all, clear your fundamentals, the basics, why, what questions and then go for the advanced topics in that concept, right? So first we will discuss in this video, it's like when say you can say introductory part to files or your introduction to file handling in C why we need files in C and what is exactly a file, right? That thing we'll discuss in this video. Now, all the topics, all the advanced topics we'll discuss in later videos one by one, right? We'll cover, we will cover everything about this topic, right? But before that, I just want to tell you one thing. If you guys are preparing for GATE 2022 examination, then I hope you have done your preparation and it's the right time to start your revision. So, an academy is going to start all India mock test series for GATE 2022 aspirants. So, you can complete your final revision with this test series. And this would be in January, in the month of January, every Sunday. So, here you will get all India ranking also. So, you can see where you are standing among the other learners from all over India. And after this contest, after the test, you will get no detailed video solution so you can identify your weak areas and you can improve according to that an academy is also going to conduct a combat it is a scholarship test for gate and ac aspirants and it would be on 26th of december at 11 am you can take this test for free and it is live test and uh, if you take it live you will also get a chance to win some exciting prizes and up to 100 percent scholarship also and prizes include like apple ipad jbl speakers amazon vouchers and much more and you can unlock this combat with my code JKL10. And for GATE 2023 aspirants also, they have started a batch. In this course, the top educator will cover all the subjects of your CS and, CS and IT. And this course will include strategy, tips and tricks, practice questions, numericals, along with the detailed explanation of the concepts. And they'll cover the course in both Hindi and English and notes will be given to in English only. Plus, all the doubts, you can clear all your doubts in the doubt clearing sessions in this course. And they have also started a batch for GATE 2023 and 2024 aspirants. In this course also, you will get strategy tips and tricks, practice questions and numericals and detailed explanation of all the concepts. But this course will be covered in English only and the notes will be given to in English. And all your doubts related to any topic will be clarified during the doubt clearing sessions in the course. But these courses are paid because you will get complete and structured courses. But you can use my code JKL10 to get 10% discount on these paid subscription. So all the relevant links and the details you will find in the description box of this video, you can go and check out. Now see. What is file handling and what is file in C? So first of all, we'll discuss the need of this file, the need of file handling in C. See, whenever you write a program, you run that program, suppose you are adding two numbers, right? Like we have taken A and B, two numbers, A and B. Here we have 5 and 10. So sum would be like in, in sum and that would be 15, right? This is like you can say your console, output screen. Console is what? where the screen where you will you know the, the, these output would be displayed right and whenever you run a program then the program would be loaded into the ram memory i hope you know this right and one memory is your hard disk right this ram is what volatile memory means whatever in this ram right that would be if whenever you will switch off your computer that would be gone right now in hard disk is what known volatile or you can say permanent memory right you will store anything in this this memory and if you switch off your computer and whenever you will turn it on automatically that data would be there right now suppose maybe you have you know created anything like a document word document right and you have written something here you have saved that document right and you have saved your images or many data you have stored in your computer i hope you have in your laptop right but whenever you again, you know, you switch off your laptop and whenever you again open it, that data would be there only, right? Your all your photos, your videos, or everything, whatever you have downloaded, whatever you have created, right? So that is what you can say we have stored that data into hard disk. That is permanent storage, right? But when a program, you are going to run a program that would be loaded into the RAM, right? Now, whatever the value you will enter like sum of two numbers. So value I'm going to enter 5 and 10, sum would be 15, that would be displayed here, right? But after terminating of this program, this data would be lost, right? Because this is in RAM, whatever you are, we are going, whatever we are, you know, executing, 
that processing that data is now that variables are in the value is in RAM memory and RAM is volatile memory whenever you terminate whenever you close that program those variables those values would be lost. Now again you can run that program again you are supposed to take new values and you can find out the sum. It is just a simple example sum of two numbers right. But suppose if I want that the data should be stored somewhere right like uh, whatever I have taken previously 5 and 10 and the sum also I want to store I will you know, I want that after terminating after closing the program still this result or this data is there anywhere I do not know where but in memory it should be there and if I need in future whenever again I will run this program or any other program in there I will need this data so I can fetch that data. So I want to store this data permanently. So where you can store obviously in hard disk this is the permanent storage right and how you will store the data in this with the help of files. Files is nothing but you can say it is a sequence of bytes memory some memory right blocks where you can store data permanently that is it that is what a file right. So here we have some files so file in file we have sequence of bytes only sequence of bytes memory is there it is like a memory only and where in these bytes you can store the data permanently that is file. So files are used to store data in hard disk right permanently. I hope you get this concept fine. Now first point is why you need these files suppose after termination of the program still you want to store the data then you can use file well, right. Next thing is sometimes you want to enter a large amount of data right it is not easy to enter that amount of data right. So if that data is stored in a file permanently in hard disk so you can access this file with the help of few commands you can write down few lines in your C program and you can easily access this file rather than entering that data because it would be a tedious task whenever you run a program suppose a program is something like that you can easily fetch the data from the file and that is it and that would considered as input of our program. Let us say if input of a program is very large so rather than typing or you know entering the data with yourself suppose that data is in a file so it would be easy to fetch that file you just have to write down few commands and that would be considered as input right and obviously for storing permanently the output you can store files. One more thing so you know RAM size is obviously RAM is of small size other than that hard disk because RAM is expensive than hard disk. So it is not able to you know RAM cannot handle large amount of data. So for that thing we need files. So I hope this is clear to you why we need files in C. So exactly this thing what is file handling? You are supposed to handle these files. Suppose in a program you need a file you need a data this is in the file and you need a data. So you will fetch that right. So this fetching or the writing something into the file or reading that file or opening a file creating a file this thing is what known as file handling simple you are handling files that is it you are creating files you are you know you can say if there is an existing file you are opening that file you are reading something from the file you are writing something into the file you are closing that file that thing is called file handling that is it and files are of two types text basically text and binary text means having dot txt extension that those files and binary dot bin dot bin these are simple plain text files like uh, here uh, you know, those you, know, you can write down anything like symbols alphabets numbers those are what with a simple text editor you can create these file like notepad or word word or document you know microsoft word those are text file you can easily read these file you can easily manage these files right but these are less secure binary files here the data is stored in the stream of zeros and ones so these are more secure obviously you cannot read easily this data so this is more secure than text files generally these are you can say the compiled files of these text files right you can see in your computer also dot bin files are also there you can open it and you can just see what is there in those files if you are unable to see those files or not right. 
and one more thing if the data is in the files then you can easily transfer that data from one machine to another machine right that easy to transfer. So, I think this is clear to you what why we need these files right and what is a file, what is file handling, the types of files and uh, operations you can perform on files. What are the operations? First is you can create a file right, you can open a file. If there is already a file in the hard disk you can open it with your C programs right, you just have to write down few commands that also we will discuss how you can open it, how you can create it. Now, you can read something from that file, whatever is written in that file you can read it right, you can fetch that, that information, you can write something into that file and if you have opened any file then you are supposed to close that file right, this is very important to close that file. So, these are main operations on files, many more operations are there, one, one by one we will discuss all the operations with proper programs how you can open it, how you can read the data, how you can close that file, how you can write something to the file, how you can append something into the file, everything we will discuss with the help of programs. This is just an introductory part on files in C, right. And to handle these files, you will need a pointer that is file pointer that is very you know, important. So, that is one you can say use of pointers, when you are going to handle the files, you definitely need a pointer the pointer type should be file, this F I L E capital F I L E, this is something like you can say it is a data type. What is this, the prototype, the prototype of this data type, this is already defined in that stdio dot h header file. So, about this also we will discuss. So, one pointer we will need to handle these files, you can say pointer, pointer should be of this type, asterisk here you can say ptr this is a file pointer. About this also I will discuss in next video, right. So, I guess that is it about uh, introduction to these files. So, now I will see you in the next video till then bye bye, take care.